Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and we make a lot of DIYs on this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some new fall Dollar Tree DIYs. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. I absolutely love how all of these crafts turned out. And if you can tell already, there was a bit of a theme going on. But if you are new here, I would absolutely love for you to join us by subscribing down below. So for this first craft, I'm starting off with two of these signs from the Dollar Tree. The second I saw them, I knew I wanted to use them in something. They just really stood out to me. They're so beautiful. And I'm also going to be using some of the tumbling tower blocks. So these are just great to always have on hand for crafting. They always come in handy. And I will be using six of those today. I'm starting off by just cutting and removing the string from the top of the signs. We're not going to need that. And then once you go ahead and remove those, you can just flip one of them over. And now you can grab six of those tumbling tower blocks. And I'm going to be stacking them in a set of two into a row. So you'll have three sets of two blocks. And now I'm going to be gluing them with my Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks. You guys know that I love these glue sticks. I will leave these linked down below for you. They are super strong and awesome. So I'm going to be starting off by gluing two of the blocks together, just like this long ways. And then I'm going to be gluing it down to one of my signs. Then I'm just going to repeat that same step over for my next two sets of blocks here. And you'll see we're kind of creating a raised area in the center. So we are going to be creating a 3D effect with this sign so it can stand all on its own and it just really makes it a lot more substantial when you're decorating with it. And now this is the part where you just have to be a little bit quick. So to make sure that the sign is going to stand up on its own, the tires at the bottom of the sign need to be the same level. So you'll see I put some hot glue on my blocks, then I put my second sign on top, and then I immediately stood it up. That way I could kind of maneuver it and make sure that both sets of tires were touching the table before that hot glue set permanently. Now you can see that 3D effect and the sign stands up all by itself, which is great. So now you can place it anywhere. But if you are having trouble, if you do recreate this and it's not standing up, you could always add a couple more blocks right there by the tires for extra support. But for me, this was not needed at all. It stood up perfectly fine all by itself. And I just love this DIY, you guys. I think it is so simple, but really beautiful. I love that teal and the pumpkins are so vibrant. I just absolutely love this simple craft. For this next DIY, we are going to be sticking with that theme. So I picked up this little wood truck at Dollar Tree and it's just so cute. I just really love the way it looked. And I had some inspiration from our first craft and I thought it would be really fun to model this small truck after our larger one here. So this is the color palette I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be painting it with my white chalk paint. I'm going to be mixing some other colors into this one, but this will be my base because I want that nice matte look that the chalk paint gives off. So to do this, you can just mix in some regular acrylic colors into your white chalk paint and it will still give it that really beautiful appearance of being chalk paint. So I'll leave this white one linked down below. I pick it up at Amazon and I just have been, I think, using the same one for over a year and it just comes in handy all the time. So you'll see that I mixed a little bit of brown with some of that white chalk paint for the tires since my larger truck sign had those nice brown tires. And then for the teal color, I just mixed in some of this deep blue with my white chalk paint. And then to kind of give it that more greenish teal color, I added in a little bit of yellow color does look a little bit light here but when it dries it does darken up quite a bit and it ended up matching our original truck sign pretty well so I just went ahead and I painted both sides of my truck and then I also painted the inside so here it is all dry and I did paint that little crate in the back of the truck brown also to match the tires and now if we look at our original sign, what are we missing? Some pumpkins. So to add the pumpkins, I picked up these little mini plush pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They are so cute. 
adorable little plush pumpkins. They actually have some different colors. They had some gingham ones as well, which were beautiful, but I kind of wanted it to look like the original truck sign, so I just went with the plain orange. And you can definitely hot glue these, but if you see here, they squish into that truck perfectly, and you do not even have to hot glue them. And then the other two I just kind of placed on top, but I think that this one is so cute. How adorable would this be on a tear tray or just on your side table, maybe next to some books? It's just so sweet looking. I absolutely love this one. Here I have it styled with just three pumpkins if you prefer that, but I think both ways look so cute. For this DIY, I picked up this large wood sign from the Dollar Tree. So this one's just so great. I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck here. It's a nice substantial size. So it makes for a nice big craft. I'm also going to be using one of the pictures from this Farm Fresh 2022 calendar. So you'll see these two pictures here on the bottom. I absolutely love them. I will definitely be using that next picture in another fall DIY soon. But this calendar just has so many beautiful pictures that for a dollar, I feel like you really can't beat it. And then I'm also going to be using one of these signs. So when I was at my Dollar Tree, they only had the Halloween and Day of the Dead ones, but they also make this sign in a bunch of fall prints. So either one works because we're going to be painting it. And then I'm also going to be using some more of those tumbling tower blocks. I also need some Mod Podge and I picked up this matte one from the Dollar Tree. I'm starting off by painting my sign white and to do this I'm going to be using that same white chalk paint that I just used earlier. I will leave this one linked down below for you guys. I just ordered from Amazon and I absolutely love using chalk paint for this because it covers up those dark colors so quickly. You'll see here I just did a couple of passes and it had absolutely no trouble at all covering up all of those dark colors. So while this is drying, I'm going to get started on my pumpkin. For today's DIY, I'm going to be using the picture from the month of October. It just has a really adorable farm truck. It says happy harvest and it just goes with our whole theme for today. So I'm very carefully cutting it out because I do want to save this calendar for future crafts. And then once I had it cut out, I just took my pumpkin to kind of line up exactly where I wanted it to be. And I can already tell that the bottom portion is not going to be needed, so I'm just going to trim it off. But I will save it because I'm going to be needing it later on to cover up some of those bare areas on the side. Now I'm kind of just lining up where it has to go and it helps a little bit if you use your fingertips to just kind of press down on the paper. It makes a little bit of an indent. That way when you put your paper back on over your pumpkin when it's time to glue it, you know exactly where you want it to be. Now I'm just putting a layer of that matte Mod Podge all over my pumpkin and make sure you get a decent amount on there because you want your paper to really stick to it and make sure you get all of those edges because we do not want those edges to peel up. Now you can just place your paper over that wet Mod Podge and once it kind of goes down, it kind of stays where you put it. If you move it around too much, it could rip, so you have to be a little bit careful with that step. And now that I have it placed, I am just coating the entire top of it with another layer of Mod Podge to seal it in. Now you can see here that there are some bare areas to my sign where the paper didn't reach. So now I'm just going to be taking those extra pieces that I trimmed off before, and I can just use those to fill in those bare areas. And once it's all kind of glued together, you can't really tell that it wasn't part of the original picture. Here is my sign after I let it dry overnight. And now we just have to trim that extra paper. So I find that it's easier to do this once everything is nice and dry. And there are two methods to remove that extra paper. So I'm going to be showing you both of them. So the first is just to trim it with something like an X-Acto knife. But the other method is to use a sanding block. So if you take your sanding block and you just kind of wrap it around the edge and you just want to kind of push it only down, don't go back and forth, just go into a downward motion against the wood and it will give you a beautiful crisp edge and it will just take that paper right off and it does look so nice. This method does take a little bit longer than just trimming it with the X-Acto knife, but it kind of just depends on your preference. I kind of did both here, so it definitely went quicker with the knife, but I did love the really smooth finish that the sanding block gave it when I trimmed the extra paper off with that. 
Now here we have our sign all trimmed and now we just have to cover up that stem. So to do that I'm just going to be using some twine from the Dollar Tree. So to start off I'm just going to be putting a little bit of hot glue on the back of my sign here. That way it's hidden. And then I'm just going to be pushing my twine into that hot glue. And I found that I didn't have to hot glue it the entire way up. Just a little bit when I got to the top to secure it. And just make sure to put that hot glue in the back. That way it is completely hidden. So now we can attach our Happy Harvest sign to our base now that it is all dry. And to do this, I'm going to be using those tumbling tower blocks. So I did end up using four in total. You'll see here that I started off with two, but I ended up using four because I felt like it needed a little bit more support. So I'm just starting off by kind of putting my pumpkin where I want it to sit on the base and then I put those two blocks behind and just to make sure that they don't get moved around when I go to glue them I just put a little pencil line that way I knew exactly where I wanted them to be once they were glued down I just put some glue on the front of them that way I could push my sign into them and they did kind of help support it but I really feel like they needed that extra support so I added a second layer of the blocks in the back and then once I did this, everything was super secure. You could definitely paint the back of the pumpkin white as well and paint those tumbling tower blocks white just to kind of give it a more finished look. I didn't do this, but I think it looked okay in the end because I don't think people will be seeing the back of it, but it's definitely something you can do if you want to really just finish it off nicely. And here is the finished sign. And I must say, I think it's adorable and it definitely is a nice big substantial size so now we are going to get started on our last diy another really easy one and it might be my favorite from this whole video so to start off i'm going to be using these two four by six frames from the dollar tree i love these because they have a traditional kind of photo stand in the back but they are thick enough that they can kind of stand up all by themselves and they kind of look like a shadow box but I wasn't loving the color, so I'm going to be giving them a little bit of a paint job with my favorite white spray paint, the Rust-Oleum Ultra Coverage. It is in the Ultra Matte White. I love this spray paint. It just looks so beautiful and high-end when you are all done with it. And here they are after two coats of that spray paint. I will be sure to link that spray paint for you guys down below in the description box. And now the only other thing that you will need for this DIY is this set of free printables. So you can find these on my blog and I will leave the link for that down below in the description box as well. And if you see the teal truck did make an appearance, I could not leave him out. So once you go to the description box and click the link for my blog, it will bring you right here and you can just scroll on down to the bottom of the article and you will see the link for the free printable. So you can just print this out at home. That's what I did. I do like to print these out on cardstock because it's a little bit thicker, but you can definitely use regular computer paper as well. When you print them out, you'll see that small thin black line and that is where you can cut. So these are sized perfectly to fit in that four by six frame. And these of course will fit in any four by six frame. So do not feel like you have to get this specific one from the Dollar Tree. If you have another four by six frame already, these would be perfect in that. So there are three pictures, but I of course had to pick the teal truck. And the second one that I went with was this one that says you had me a pumpkin spice because I am a bit of a pumpkin spice monster. I love pumpkin spice, so I had to go with that one. I thought it was so cute. And if you are familiar with my DIYs, you will know that I love to frame things above the glass. It's just personal preference because I like to avoid that glare that the glass gives. So that is how I frame these two, but how adorable. These would look perfect by a coffee bar or just kind of sitting out next to your Keurig or on a tear tray. Just really simple, really easy, and so cute. And those are all the DIYs that I have for you guys today, but do make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell because I have a bunch of fall and Halloween videos planned for this year that I'm really excited about, and I don't want you guys to miss any of them. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here on my picture, and make sure to check out this video for some more crafting fun.